Some birds have the power to grab us and transport us to another place. New Guinea's otherworldly birds of paradise are like that. But right here in North America, we have three of our own. And they do it with sound. They are all thrushes. Two of them regularly end up on one or another list of the world's best bird songs. It's May, somewhere in the eastern half of the United States, maybe even in a good park in the city. The woods are a fresh young green. Wildflowers cover the ground. The songs of oven birds ring out everywhere. And then there is this. It's a wood thrush. The sound is liquid and pure, but it's more. There are harsh trills and bouncy notes, very unbirdlike. Part of the song's charm is that each phrase is different. You never know what's coming next. And in that way, the thrush seems to be talking or maybe preaching in its green cathedral where the leaves offer tiny echoes that enhance the tone. Perhaps you don't live near the eastern forest. You can find similar music from Alaska through Canada to the northeastern states on the west coast and down the Rockies. It's a different bird, the unassuming hermit thrush. The wood thrush has a reddish head and big spots. The hermit thrush has a reddish tail and fainter spots. Hermit thrushes prefer conifer forests, tall pines, spruces, and hemlocks. In the mountains, they find an open spot, often looking out over a valley. They sing to the sun as it rises and sing to the night as it falls. An ancient legend says the hermit thrush's song came from the sky, and it sounds like it. It's pure flute. Some birds sing better than others. If it's still, hear the song blow through the trees. Add a woodpecker drumming, and you have the sound of the western forest. There's one more bird. It lives in the Pacific Northwest, through British Columbia and into Alaska. Its song is very simple. One odd note. If your desire is to lose yourself in meditation, a varied thrush in a fog-shrouded spruce forest may get you there. The bird can be hard to find. The forest is thick. The visibility may not be good. But it is probably on an exposed perch somewhere nearby, and with some luck and some looking, you can find it. It looks like a robin with a chest band and acts like a robin too, flying near the ground or across a road, and usually not too far. These silent woods, full of huge mossy logs to sit on, are the perfect place to look.